Hey ladies, it's Lady Charmaine and I just want to just talk to you right now. And yes, I'm about to get on a soapbox because I am seeing too much of this going on and sisters, we got to do better. So I'm talking to my sisters out there who are single mothers and sisters out there who are looking to be mothers, but maybe not necessarily married. And I just want to talk to you just about children and just about men. Because I am getting so frustrated with the baby mama drama syndrome. And I'm talking to those sisters who have children by men that they may not necessarily be with anymore. He may have done some things to you and he may have offended you. But the one thing that you're doing right now is you're taking it out on him through his child. Yes, I said that. You're using the child as a weapon. And for those of you who may have children and who do not realize what the purpose of children are for, they are not to be used as a weapon against someone else because they hurt you. So I'm talking to all of the women scorned that are out there. I'm talking to all the bitter Bettys out there. I'm talking to all the Debbie Downers out there. I'm talking to all the scoundrel sisters out there that want to use these men to have babies and use them to get a check. A child is not just for a child support check. The check is to support the child and the needs that the child have. It is not a way for you to get additional funds just through the child. It is for to make sure that that child, all of their needs are taken care of. And because your relationship with that man did not work out, because he does not have a relationship with you, you do not have the right to deny him to have a relationship with his child. That child is not meant to be manipulated for your own purposes. That child is not meant for you to say, hey, I'm going to get back at you since you don't want to be with me. You cannot have my child. You cannot tell the child's father that you and the child are a package deal. You and the child are not a package deal. He is still the father of that child, whether he is with you or not. Don't forget that that child has 24 of your chromosomes and 24 of his chromosomes. So that child Child is half of you and half of him because you two did not work out does not mean that his relationship would not work out with his child so stop using that child and sisters another thing because he is no longer with you does not give you the right to dictate to that man who that child can be around because he chooses to have another woman in his life that child is not used for you to control that man's life who comes in and out of his life who comes in and out of his home that child is not used for you, for you to say, this is where you can take my child and where you cannot take my child. But the thing is, you want a child support check and dictate to that man what he can do and not do with the child that both of you share together. If he was good enough for you to lay down with, he should be good enough for you to allow him to take that child somewhere away from you. It is okay. And if he does decide to get married, he has now had, he has an extended family and he may have other children by the new lady that he is with. It is not your job now to try to dictate in that man's home what he can and cannot do with your child that you had by him, because that is also his child. Don't be jealous because he now has the family that you wish you had with him. And another thing, sisters, stop hating on the woman that he's with. That woman didn't do anything to you. The only thing is she married the man or she is with the man that you used to be with and the man that broke your heart. So don't take your anger out on the female when she didn't do anything to you. Just admit to all of your friends that you're just jealous. Stop going around talking about that woman because she didn't do nothing to you. Just say, hey, you know what? I am jealous. She has the family that I wish I had. He's treating her better than how he treated me. See, I wish he treated me how he treats her because I probably would have had him. But no, he didn't treat me like that. So don't be jealous and hating because of how he's treating that new woman now. Maybe because he learned his lesson with you and maybe said to himself, you know what? The next time I get a woman, I'm not going to treat her like that. I know you wish it was you. I know you feel like this woman is reaping the benefits of what you claim that you put in that man. You know what? Bravo. You may have taught him some things. You may have taught him a lesson. But just thank God that he is now a good man for another woman. And just thank God that he is being a good father to his child. I'm not talking about, now you know, not all men are deadbeat dads. Okay, so let's stop saying all these men out here, they don't take care of their kids. Because there are some good men out there. And you know what? We need to applaud them when you know you have found a good man.
But thank God that you do have a man in your life that's willing to spend time with his child. Because most of the complaints that a lot of women say today is he don't spend no time with his child. If you have a man that's willing to spend time with his child, invest in his child, take his child out, and they are paying child support, you need to commend him for being willing to do that because a lot of women wish they were in your spot right now. They wish they had their children's father to spend time with them, take out time, pay child support, see them, be at school activities. And when you have a man that's trying to be there, ladies, don't deny him that right to be in his child's life because he is not with you. And do not deny him the right because he has a new female in his life. Because if he has a new female, if he want to come around, she can't come. Let them come as a family. Let that child see a good family intact because he's not with you. Don't deny them that right of family support. Because remember, keep the child first. The child is the one that need both of their parents. We know we got parents today that are going through with their teens. God knows I got teens that I'm going through, but it takes a village to raise a family. And when you have a good man that's willing to do that and be there for, for not just you, but be there for that child, honey, you better commend him because not everybody has that same story.